It has been such a busy first day of the year. Took down all of our Christmas decorations today. Put away all of my Christmas or festive glassware. Went to my dad's and took down all of his Christmas decorations. The tree, everything. Put it all away, which was a lot. And then I just got back from the grocery store and got a bunch of food for the week. Meal prep, I still need to meal prep. Just been a productive day. Did all my laundry. I know there's some type of superstition, like don't do any laundry on the first of the year or something that it will like wash your loved ones away. I don't know if I necessarily believe that. Do you guys follow that rule? I did. I don't follow that rule. Um, I believe I did laundry on the first of last year. I don't know. I just, the craziest things. I have a lot to catch you guys up on. Saturday I went and got blood work done. Some alarming things um, that I didn't suspect are going on. Um, I think I might have to do more tests, but all of my vitamins and mineral levels are in the green. They're like perfect, but I think I have to do more testing and I don't want to speak too much on it. Let me put my groceries away and I'll come back and I'll explain more <laughs> about everything. But yeah, I might have to do more testing and I just, yeah. So I'll talk about it more. Just finished meal prepping. I did ground turkey fajita style rice bowls with cilantro lime rice and some black beans. And then I have some lettuce in the fridge to add to my bowl tomorrow and then some guac on top. It's gonna be really yummy. And I'm excited that it's only a four day work week this week, but this is what we're doing for lunches. We just got home from dinner. We went to this new, not a new, we tried a new sushi place called Yamasan, kind of close to like Winter Park, Baldwin Park area. It's on Mills. It was really good. And a lot of places are closed today, obviously for New Year's. So it was a little hard to figure out dinner. Just got back, I'm about to get in the shower and do my skincare and things and I wanted to share over here because I didn't share on YouTube I shared on Instagram and TikTok my 2024 ins and outs and I love this trend I could have honestly kept going and going and going but I was holding myself back um I'll put a picture of it right here on the screen but my ins low cortisol resting slowing down getting blood work done slash doctor's visits Vitamins and greens, low impact movements, walking, or honestly doing whatever feels good for you, whether that's running, high intensity, whatever. Hair oiling, masking, love that. Medical grade and high quality skincare. I actually did get some medical grade skincare in. There's lymphatic drainage, which I've done for a while, red light therapy, using up products before buying new. I am definitely sticking to that. Um, early bedtimes, saying no. Gratitude always. Feeling safe in your skin slash body. Rotating hangers at the beginning of each season to see what you wear and what you don't. So that means like rotating your hangers so the hook faces towards you. So you can see at the beginning of each season truly what you grabbed and what you didn't grab. Fresh air, being outside, and making time for activities that you love. And then outs, overconsumption, overthinking, overcommitting. Go, go, go mindset, which I have a bad habit of just living in that. Phones at the dinner table, glass half empty mindset, lack mindset, feeling the need to do something because others are, impulse decisions and buying. Give it a like 48 hour to 72 hour thought. Um, if you like something, just wait. Wait 48 hours, 72 hours. If you forget about it, don't buy it. But if you still can't stop thinking about it, then maybe buy it. Stressful jobs, lots of caffeine, cluttered space, phone, mind, endless scrolling, letting others slash outside events control your emotions and how you feel about yourself and your circumstances, comparing your journey that's individual to you to other journey that is individual to them, anything that dims your light and makes you feel less valuable. You are and always will be 
high value and worthy of any and all good things. So those are mine. I feel like I could have definitely gone on and on and on. But um, those are the things I'm going to be focusing on this year. But let's, I feel like I just have a lot to chat about and catch you guys up on. Um, my blood work, I went Saturday for blood work and I just don't like getting my blood drawn. And it really wasn't even that bad, but I haven't gotten my blood drawn since 2019 when I was on Accutane. I believe that was the year that I was on Accutane. And I had to go every month for like six or seven months to get my blood drawn and I got used to it and it just was like fine and not bad, but I haven't been in a little while. So I had a lot of anxiety leading up to it. Um, I wasn't really sleeping because I was so nervous um, that I would like pass out or whatever. It's just stuff like that really freaks me out. It's not even like the process of it, it's the thought. It's like the thought of what's happening and like what's going on. That's what <laughs> gets to me. But like our mind is so powerful it's so crazy how i've obviously talked about this before but i've grown up and i've like passed out like the littlest things growing up and as i get older i can kind of like talk myself through things and out of things when it comes to like feeling dizzy like i could pass out but saturday was fine i went to get my blood drawn saturday morning and um it was fine it was like a second and then I was kind of like shaky after, but I brought like an orange juice with me just in case and everything was fine. And then I edited my 2023 year in review video all day Saturday, didn't vlog at all, um, just to get that edited and posted, which I posted yesterday. But yesterday morning, I got my results back for my blood work and all of my vitamins and minerals and things like that are fine. Like there's nothing really wrong. It is, I apparently have um, high cholesterol, which is a little bit alarming. It's not like super high. It just is kind of crazy because I do eat pretty healthy and I work out four to five days a week. Um, so I call my dad my dad's like a retired radiologist. So I call him. I just ran out of memory, so I'm sorry. But come to find out, high cholesterol can be hereditary, and my dad has been on high cholesterol medication for over 20 years. So it's just kind of scary because I feel like I eat relatively healthy. I mean, I have bacon on the weekends and I have eggs, and it just kind of made me think about everything that I could possibly like try and make it better. And it also isn't scary because I mentioned in my last vlog that my dad suffered a minor stroke and obviously that could high cholesterol could play a part in that so it's just kind of terrifying because i want to live like a long healthy life as most of us or if not all of us do so it just is kind of crazy that i technically could be doing all the right things but still have high cholesterol which is just crazy so i'm trying to pick out a few things that i could kind of change so not eating bacon on the weekends i'm still gonna eat eggs and stuff but maybe switching to like a low fat yogurt instead of like a full fat yogurt which you always hear like full fat is best like full fat don't get low fat things so i always just got full fat because i always thought it was better but truly doing stuff that is individual to you and beneficial for you and your health is important so keep that in mind when seeing anything any any type of food, exercise, anything. Definitely make sure it's good for you and how you feel. So that's why getting blood work done is very important. And um, I also have a underactive thyroid. Um, my mom only had half a thyroid. So just getting all the great genes. My sister has an overactive thyroid and I'm apparently it's not like super high but it is probably gonna i'm probably gonna need to do more blood tests because it was just like a base thyroid test it wasn't in depth but um it really does explain why i am so tired all the time and if this is the reason why um i can get put on medication but it's medication that you take for the rest of your life and i feel like i don't show signs of an underactive thyroid. I'm not like overweight or anything. Um, and I don't notice anything else, like, I don't know. So 
those are some things. It's just like not even what I thought. I thought I was have really low vitamin B12 or something else was out of whack, but literally everything else is perfectly fine. So it's just kind of crazy. <laughs> like I'm so glad I got this done. This is your sign. Go get your blood work done. Cause I was just like taking vitamins or like cutting stuff out or like doing something. And I was like, why am I just so exhausted all the time? Like something is wrong. And turns out something is wrong. It is something that I didn't think would necessarily be the problem. So um, I have my doctor's appointment on the 10th. So I'll see what he says and go from there. But I think I'm gonna have to do more in-depth tests and go from there, I guess. But I'm gonna stop talking, I feel like. I just had a lot, I just had to catch you guys up on that stuff. Um, I'm debating on if I wanna do my high frequency thing for my hair or if I just wanna put in my little serum and get in the shower. I don't think I've talked about this. I uh, used the Vegamore scalp serum. I went through the whole bottle, which lasted so long, it was like four months. Um, and I was influenced by TikTok. There's this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous woman on TikTok called the Mindful Blonde. She has the most stunning hair I have ever seen in my life. The Mindful Blonde. Her name's Danielle Shug. That's just, look at her hair. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's so long and gorgeous. And she was using this, so I was like fully influenced by her. And I finished up my Vegamore serum and I needed, I was either deciding on buying a new one of those or switching, so I decided to switch and try this out. Um, I think I'm gonna do actually my high frequency one and get in the shower and then do that after the shower. Then do my skincare.